and gentlemen, Blue Corner, please put your hands together for Eman Zahid. Red Corner, Khizar Eman Punjab, please make your way to the gate. Next fight, Bismillah Khan versus Sajid Kutoshi. Please get ready. This is the fight of the backstage. Bismillah Khan or Sajid Kutoshi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Red Corner, Khreza Rahman. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is the first semi-final in the men's welterweight category. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Sin, Eman Sahid. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Team Punjab. Ladies and gentlemen. Sajid Kadoshi, Islamabad, Blue Corner, Bismillah, Red Corner, Balochistan. Fighters, please be ready for the next fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming you to the first welterweight bout of the evening. This fight is scheduled at 77.1 kilograms. Khizr Rahman in the red. Ayman Zahid in the blue, representing Sindh. Khizr Rahman representing Punjab. Oh, beautiful front kick. Right off from the bat, I see a significant size difference in height and reach between. Whoa! Hey, Man Zahid! Hey, Man Good Zahid! Takedown. Good doing takedown. the dog work right now. He's got some size on him, man. He, he needs to utilize it. He needs to utilize it. Takedown is the best way to get it done. Khizr Aman beat, uh, in the minds of many people, the best welterweight in Pakistan, Daud Atif, on his way to coming to the NFT quarterfinals and then yesterday another dominant performance today he's ended up on bottom in the very first minute of the first round wow good transition to the back by Ayman and he's got the rear naked choke in uh, he's, almost though he's he's in an awkward position yep his is doing a good job of turning into him right now that's what he needs to do to avoid the choke he's going for a triangle trying to switch Angle. Yep. Eman's right in front of his corner coach Rizwan Khan or Xayusan right there. And now Khizr Eman round and pound. Heavy shots. Khizr now on top, opening up on Eman. Eman was just a brutal force up until now. Seems like a more favorable position for Khizr right now. Woohoo! Strong hammer fists. That's gonna hurt in the morning. <laughs> and he might have a fight in the morning. <laughs> Hammer fist again. Hard shots off the bottom by Iman as well. Because there's fallen into side control. This is very good for him. Yeah, this is good for him because he neutralizes the threat of getting hit too hard by Iman and also gives him some time to breathe and probably recalibrate or rethink his strategy right now. Winner of this fight will be facing the winner of Bismillah Khan, Sajid Kutoshi, coming up right after this. Do not go anywhere. Stay right here. National Fighting Tournament 2 brought to you by SAG MMA and the Pakistan Mixed Martial Arts Federation. Iman pressed up against the feds right now. Oh, heavy shots by Khizr to the chin. Literally on the chin. He's trying to find that chin, but Iman's shown he's durable. Oh, he yes. has explosion. Oh, yes. And power. Good striking as well. That front kick did threaten Khizr quite a bit in the first minute. Khizr was using his forearm to keep Iman's head down. But he's doing pretty fine right now. Oh, non-stop action from Khizr. Representing Punjab. Oh my god, hard strikes. Referee Vesha right there. Iman Zahid's fighting back. Non-stop work, non-stop work. This is exactly what Khizr needs to be doing right now. If by any chance the judges were giving this first round to Ten Iman, seconds to go. the tides really have turned now. Going into the second round. Iman struggling. 
Looks like he is in deep waters. That is the end of the first round. Khizr Rahman will be tended to by his brother, Rashid Gujar. Both brothers looking to be in the finals. Eman Zahid looking to make that not happen. Please do not go anywhere. Stay right here. We will be right back with the second round. We need to start getting stools for our fighters. Gentlemen, welcoming you back to round number two. Khizr Rahman representing Punjab in the red corner versus Amen Zahid representing Sindh in the blue corner. Let's see how this second round plays out. Daniel. Underway with the second round. Let's see what both fighters choose to do at the start of the round. I think Khizr needs to maintain his distance, but Iman may not have the same force and explosiveness Ooh. as he did in the first round. Oh, that's for oh, sure. Oh, hard oh, shot there, and He's trying to go for the Woo! finish, but if he doesn't, he's gassing himself out here. He's going to get ex exhausted. The crowd chanting for Khizr. Khizr tangled up here with Iman. Their hometown hero. Oh, look at that. Iman pulls him, and now we're back on the ground. I can relate to Iman Zahid a lot because whenever you and I spar, Salman, there's a good three, four inch difference. You have to somehow get in, land a strike, and also not get hit on the exit, or at least get tied up like he got here. Yeah. It's just such a big thing, having a height and reach advantage in an MMA fight. Because yeah. Iman was doing the right thing here. He threw those overhands, he hurt Kizer, but as soon as he got close, Kizer tied him up, took him down, mm. and now we're here. That's where wrestling takes place. For yeah. sure. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're tall or anything, if you're coming in and throwing strikes, you short, leave yourself short. open to getting countered. And that's what almost happened to Khizr right added here by again. Alam. Uh, Iman, excuse me. Khizr's added again in the first round. We saw the exact same story. Khizr on top, landing these small shots to the head, to the body, and again in the second round, he's back at it again. It seemed like Iman had gassed oh. by the end of the first round. Going into the second round, he used all of his energy in those hard, hard strikes which didn't land and oh, potentially... Good shots by Khizr. Dominant top position now by Khizr Rahman from Punjab. Khizr Rahman, dominant so far, coasting through. Both fighters gassed out, Daniel. They're giving everything they have. The referee seems to be standing them up now. What okay. might be the reason? Inactivity, I think. But because they were landing. I mean, but they were landing short shots, but yeah, yeah but they were landing back on the feet. Kizerman in the red. Flat footed, heavy. Oh, putting power everything shards. into those shots right now. Almost missed. Kizer sensing a tired Iman pressing forward and taking him down. Oh, Iman oh, back just throwing haymakers, man, and hoping he lands one. That shows how confident he is in his power. Oh, he's trying to go on a two on one on Woo. his neck here. Look at the impact with which Khizr Rahman just drove him into the cage. Pillar just came off, almost. Yeah, this is what happens when you start off so explosively but don't have the, the endurance to keep doing that throughout the fight. You get gassed and you look for... 10 seconds to go into the second round. You pick your shots. You try and knock the other person out because at that point, you don't know what to do with yourself. Oh, after the bell. Not good, not good. But hey man, they're in the zone. They don't know what's happening. End of the second round. We will be going into the third. But before we do, thank you all so much for tuning into the National Fighting Tournament 2. Brought to you by SAG MMA and the Pakistan Mixed Martial Arts Federation. So far, ladies and gentlemen, the finals happening tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. right here in SA Gardens, Kala Shakaku. Strawweight division final, Shayan Mehdi from Team Sindh representing, uh, taking on Arsalan Ali Basi 
from Team AJK. In the flyweight final, we have Abdul Rahman representing Punjab taking on Zishan Akbar representing Team Gilgit Baltistan. In the bantamweight finals, we have Asghar Khan and Ayan Hussain, both fighters from Kax Fight Club, competing in the finals tomorrow. Kashif Qureshi and Rashid Gujar will be competing in the featherweight final taking place tomorrow. Kashif Qureshi, of course, Team Islamabad, Rashid Gujar, Team 8, the brother of Khizr Rahman, who is currently in this fight. And in the lightweight final, it is final, it is confirmed. We have Ali Heather representing Team Balochistan taking on Shahab Ali Ridi representing Team Islamabad with what promises to be an absolute cracker of a fight. The winner of this fight, Khizr Rahman Ayman Zahid will be taking on the winner of the next fight, Bismillah Khan and Sajid Kutoshi. Nothing like a tournament, nothing like a tournament in the world at all that can get me so hyped up because you know and you don't know who you're going to face in the next round. It is all up to chance. These fighters will have less than a day to prepare for their opponents. They had less than a day to prepare for these. I'm so excited, guys. It's going to be Daniel, Daniel, I need to stop you. Have a sip of water. You've <laughs> talked too much, man. You should be working you, at an you auction. You kept on talking for a minute. You've got good breathing, man. You've been doing some practicing. Thank you, brother. Thank you. should work at an auction. I do sometimes, part-time, actually. We are <laughs> underway with the third round. Khizar Rahman in the red gloves. Ayman Zahid in the blue. Khizr a little labored in his movement going into the third and final round. Iman may still be looking for those heavy, heavy shots that can end the fight. Man, Khizr's written a perfect picture for himself right now. Two rounds dominating on the ground and there you go back again. Let's see how Iman use, utilizes his grip now. This is exactly what he needs to do. Put him against the cage, try to go for a double. Yeah, and not risk getting knocked out or getting hit with something too heavy because we do have another fight tomorrow if he wins. Iman trying to get some kind of a choke going here. Iman was looking for a guillotine. Oh, whoa, whoa. Good grappling. Again, Khizr on top. Iman. Dominant, dominant, dominant. Iman still hanging on to the head of... Outclassing his opponent again in the third round. Iman still looking for that guillotine committing to it. It's hard to see from here. It's not tight at all. Kizzer's just a-okay being over here. Woo. Hard strike there. Kizzer Man right in front of us. Oh, oh strong heavy, shot heavy to shots. the back of the head which was illegal now directly on the face. Side on the side of the head is perfectly alright. Oh, on the back, just like that. Illegal guys. Cameraman giving you a nice overhead oh, shot. Yes. <laughs> Hard shot there by Kizer. I mean, high level production by SAG, SA Group. Excellent event. The crowd is on their feet. Everyone's having a blast, and Kizer Rahman is unloading on his opponent along the way. Man, these two guys are literally two feet away from us, and every time Kizer lands, I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> Hurts like hell. Goosebumps, goosebumps, guys. This is what we live for. This is what we enjoy. And these are first class seats. Oh, again, Khizr, non stop work. If you're Khizr, you're, you're fine with being in this position and ending the fight like this. Amon is trying to get up. He is still working. He is replying to these punches, but the pressure is just too much for him. Yeah, Amon started off really fast and really strong, but it seems like. That didn't work out for him in the long run. He's unable to get Khizr off of him at this at this moment in time. He's so close to me, I feel like doing a during the fight interview with Khizr Rahman right now. <laughs> right in front of us, Khizr Rahman on top and will most likely be coasting to a decision victory at the end of this fight. Dominant as ever, Eman Zahid. Finishes his fight. Good fight, guys. Laying down Khizr Rahman, Excellent helping him up. Fight. Great sportsmanship. And we will be back with the official decision just after this.
cards for a decision. The judges scored this contest 30 27, 30 27, and 29 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, advancing to the Walter Wade finals, Hizzle Ramon!